tests that orthopedic surgeon should think about. Alpha defensin test. Does that patient have infection? The alpha defensin test is a relatively new test that could help patients to diagnose periprosthetic joint infection. Alpha defensin is a biomarker based test for prosthetic joint infection and it is measured in the synovial fluid. Alpha defensins are antimicrobial peptides released by the neutrophils in response to infection. The alpha defensins act like natural antibiotics which work to rapidly destroy the infection. Studies indicate that alpha defensins are not significantly elevated by other causes of inflammation which can cause false positives by increasing the sedimentation rate and the CRP. In patients with negative cultures, the alpha defensin test can diagnose infection even if the patient is on antibiotics. So you aspirate the hip and the cell count will be marginally elevated and the culture will be negative. The physician does not know if the patient has infection or not. So the physician will order the alpha defensin test, which will not be affected if the patient is on antibiotics. The alpha defensin test may also be helpful when there is a question of contamination of the culture. And here is the scenario for that. The patient will have hip pain, so you will get blood work, sedimentation rate and CRP, and you find them elevated. So you decide to aspirate the hip. Clinically, it doesn't seem that the patient has infection, but when you culture the fluid, the culture comes back positive then you don't know if this is a true infection or a contaminant. So you get the alpha defense and test. Diagnosing prosthetic infection can be challenging in patients with adverse local soft tissue reaction, secondary to failed metal on metal or corrosion of the femoral head and neck junction. These patients may have pain difficulty in walking and the fluid collection around the joint. The presentation can mimic infection or it can be the result of concomitant infection, making the diagnosis very difficult, especially if there is elevation of the sedimentation rate and the CRP. The synovial white count may be elevated, especially if the manual cell count is not obtained. Automated cell count may count the debris and give you a false positive elevated number. And cultures of the synovial fluid will be negative. So in these scenarios, everything points towards infection, but the culture is negative. In some cases, purulence may be present intraoperatively without infection. Also, if you take this patient to surgery, an intraoperative frozen section with the number of cells less than 5 may exclude infection, despite the fact that purulence may be present intraoperatively and the hep. This is a situation where the alpha defensin test could be helpful preoperatively because the physician should try aggressively to find out preoperatively if there is an infection or not in the hip joint. There is some concern that the alpha defensin test may give false positive in patients with adverse local soft tissue reaction. Although the test appears helpful, more studies are necessary to assert the validity of this test. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.